Hi everyone, my name is Julius de Campenaar and I am the creator of Relative Rotation Graphs here with Stock Charts. In this video, we're going to briefly explain what an ROG is and what it actually shows you. The image that you see here is a relative rotation graph showing you the rotation for the 11 sectors in the S&P 500. On the horizontal scale, we've got the JDK RS ratio. That is a metric of relative strength. On the vertical axis, we've got the JDK RS momentum. That is a metric of relative momentum. It measures the momentum, the rate of change of that RS ratio. Now let me quickly switch to a regular chart with those two lines to explain you what I mean by that. Here's the chart of the communication services sector, XLC. It's a weekly chart, so it matches with the time frame that we had on that RRG previously. The blue line in the middle pane is the relative strength of the communication services sector versus the S&P 500. Very simple interpretation. If that blue line moves up, XLC is outperforming the S&P. If the blue line moves down, XLC is underperforming the S&P. The RRG lines below are normalizing that behavior and trying to find trends in those relative strength. The red line is the RS ratio line. That's the one that's plotted on the horizontal scale on the RRG chart. The green line is the RS momentum line. That's the value that's plotted on the vertical scale on that RRG chart. And for example, when you are here, the red line is above 100, the green line is above 100, that's when you're in the leading quadrant. And then the interaction between those two lines will dictate how that tail on the RRG is moving through the four quadrants. Let me show you. So here we are back on the relative rotation graph itself. Leading is when both of these RRG lines are above 100. It means that the security, or the sector in this case, is in a relative uptrend, and that relative uptrend is being pushed higher by strong momentum. Now we all know that momentum, or rate of change, is a leading indicator. So the first thing that will happen is that the momentum will start to roll over. And if that happens, it will push the security, the sector, into the weakening quadrant. That is a situation where the relative uptrend is still intact, but it's losing power. If that loss of power, that loss of momentum continues, the sector will move into the lagging quadrant. It's a situation where the sector is in a relative downtrend, and that downtrend is being pushed lower by strong negative momentum. And just like on the other side, the first thing that will happen is that your momentum, your relative momentum will start to pick up, and that will push the sector into the improving quadrant. Still in a relative downtrend, but less so it's in its way to turn around. And if that strength, that improving route strength continues, the sector will eventually move back into the leading quadrant. And we can actually show that by plotting or um, circling, cycling through history. And you can do that by grabbing the slider here on the top. And actually play through history and see how the interaction of those sectors th over time will continue to move. We have actually a couple of controls that we can use. So if I use fit, it will use maximum real estate. If I use max, it will put it like that, that every time I slide, all my tails will be on the canvas. And I can actually center it. And if I lock that, it will maximize my view and it will actually look at the axis, the scales on the axis, they are actually expanding and contracting while I scroll through history. So this allows you to use maximum use of screen real estate and still see the historical movement of the rotation of those sectors. And that was a quick rundown of Let's call it RRG 101. We've got much more material on the site. Please go check it out.